Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Aerosoft Owl. And today is the coveted day where we talk about the 31 Blades. Who are they? Where do they come from? And most importantly, what are their motives? <clears throat> well, after long deliberation and after long talking with some friends of mine, we finally come up with a full story as to who the 31 Blades are. But before that, some context as to who the 31 Blades are based off of and why. The 31 Blades, well, as you all know, is basically a nice Celis plug out uh, plug-in for Op 31, which is the airsoft and uh, and thankfully enough, the owner was so kind enough to let me add him to the story without saying his real name and only using his call sign and maybe getting his fiance in on the mix. Who knows? Mm, either way. Now, depending on what time of day you might get this, you might get this in the afternoon. Originally, this video was supposed to go up around today, around earlier today, so the kids at Up31 could watch it. But, sadly, due to some technical difficulties with our Wi-Fi, it's going to be in the afternoon. I am sorry. But either way, let us go ahead and get into who is the 31 Blades, or at least who are the 31 Blades. Well, after... Years and months, well, after months of decoding and decrypting, classified and preferably old, outdated technology from the old world CIA, as well as old world intelligence agencies, the, we have been able to identify who the, op, who the 31 Blades are. The 31 Blades, in fact, are the 31 operatives, or at least op, or at least Operation Section 31. Operation Section 31 is, in fact, a black ops unit that was used during the, in the old world as a means to retain the United States power. And like a bitch. The old world America, always paranoid as to who their enemies might be. Ironically still is. Irony. Then comes the question. Why are they fighting against two factions that are supposedly fighting for freedom? Simple. They are dead soldiers. They are soldiers without a cause, nor are simply walking in the twilight between life and death. They are soldiers who want to fight their final fight and die like soldiers, and not live, well, in their eyes, a farce. The world they see is nothing more than a farce, a world that they cannot live in, in a weird way. And as such, they fight like savages. And fight in the way they were trained to fight. Even torture the way they were trained to torture. Mm, which is very relevant. Which is very uh, relevant to what some victims of theirs have been. Through. But the question comes down to why are they fighting? They're fighting because now they're nothing more than a band of bloodthirsty, warmongering, mercenary scum who kill anyone and anything for a mere handful of pennies. Or at least in this case, gold. Considering that the up, considering that the 31 blades are being paid in gold bullions from the from Fort Knox. Yeah, you're being heard correctly. They legitimately the religious states are paying these mercenary scumbags with gold from Fort Knox. Let that sink in for a bit. Let, let, let that sink in. <clears throat> now, as to the recent events, the 31 Blades have been fighting well, my faction, the Otaku Nation, for a very, very long time by this point. And what's worse is that we have been fighting back. Hard. And we have found their compound, or at least supposedly one of many compounds. However, for some reason, the 31 Blades are not abandoning this one. They are holding their ground. Why? Because intelligence says that the leader, Spaz, of the 31 Blades is there, as well as other high-ranking officials. However, their names are still being decrypted. All we do know is their code names. One of them happens to be the L a woman sniper known as Vixen. Vixen, apparently, according to most frontline reports, is a femme fatale who wears all red, and is the last thing you'll ever see. As for her weapons, it is not known. 
but all reports state that her final kills have been from a red blade. And, somewhat poetic, the kills she enjoys the most, she leaves a rose for. I gave it to the mercenaries. They at least have style. As for Spaz, on the other hand, the reason... Well, the very reason for the name is because all frontline reports state that Spaz carries around Italian-made weapons. A Spaz-12, a Beretta, and... If the reports state it correctly, he carries around... I'm not even joking here. An advanced weapon from the time period made by the Beretta Corp by the Old World Beretta Corporation. Now, as to whether or not these reports are true, that is purely up to speculation. They care. They kill simply to kill. They fight. And every mercenary that has been attempted to be captured has taken their own life. So they wouldn't be treated as such. And finally, the big one is this. At the producing of this, at the meaning of the story and the creating of the lore behind them, as well as the final explanation as to who they are, it has been finally confirmed that the leader and high-ranking mercenary officials have been spotted at this compound in the infill. And as such, the final order, a kill or capture order, has been given out to all frontline forces of the 82nd, including my squad, Wolfpack. As such, the order goes as follows. We are to kill or capture any high-ranking officials of the 31 Blades. If capture is not optimal, put them down. So that way they cannot take any more scout lives. And hinder the war effort. Now as to whether or not this is the only band of mercenaries that has been confirmed on the front lines is yet to be known. While rumors are circulating that other mercenary bands are in fact real, as well as arm merchants who are trying to sell advanced weapons to the religious states because of go because of the because of the unrelenting supply of gold and silver, it is unknown. What is known, on the other hand, is that we are at their doorstep. The Thirty One Blades' days are about to come to an end, and after tomorrow's battle, it will be very much known whether or not the fighting at that compound will either continue or cease. It all comes down to the brave the brave actions of freshly recruited soldiers into the attacking mission scout regiment. It all comes down to that. So, as such, I leave you, my viewers, and those who will be coming to Op 31 tomorrow with my final words. Fight hard, Fight strong, and never surrender. Because surrender is never an option. Death or liberty. These are the only options in war. And as always, my viewers, I will see you guys in the front lines.